Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. Keep talking. That's right. Walk away, fucking pussy. I just punched you in your mouth. I'm up. <laughs> What's he saying? What he saying? Put you in your mouth and I'm about to take your bitch. You know? <laughs> oh. Okay. We have a big decision. Warn or don't warn. Let's not waste time. I mean, he, like, your man got vengeance in his eyes, bro. I think we cook. He's so desperate, like, like, he'll kill me, like, or kill him. Oh my God, want him? Oh, don't. Fuck. <gasps> Sharon, you might die. You might die, Sharon. Sharon. We didn't got rope. Ain't going anywhere. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. No. Nuh uh. Don't even start down that road. Paul, come with me. It's not too late. Safe. The same model you put in the motel rooms. You gave me the factory code. Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied. Yeah, yeah, tell them the plan, Joyce. Just brilliant. Brilliant. The count. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. No, oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, how could you do this to me? I mean, you kind of a. I mean, he, does, the answer, does the answer matter? I know where that money comes from. Sharon told me everything. You don't know the half of it. Did you take her side over mine? Your own blood? I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. Uh-uh, I'm not giving it to him. The whole way he been moving been reckless. He left us in that motel. He sent people in there to shoot without looking and all that type of shit. All he cares about is that book. And I don't trust this guy. One again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away. I, I mean, hey, look, I'm not going to lie. I do not trust this dude, bro. I don't really trust Sharon either, but she's a little more trustworthy than this guy. Ooh. Nah. <laughs> Bust his ass in the head with the coffee pot. Car keys. Let's go. She done wrote me into this shit. <clears throat> Who knows what would happen if she wasn't here though. He might've killed me. He might've killed him. There. They make me choose. Hey, Sharon, your whole boy turned up in Utah with some girl and so FBI are in pursuit. Out. This is too intense for me. Nice ass high. 
house, bro. It looks like sure. the house from. You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. Excuse me. Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted him to die to home. But his dad had family here and they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? No, I'm not taking it. Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight. Damn. Look how they living. How old are these people in this house? I see somebody with a with a rubber duck. Look at him with a Fortnite costume. Take effect that fast. I know some of y'all, I know some of y'all didn't mess around with this shit. It'll take effect that that's crazy. She smiling like that? Get her off that couch, man. Dean, I feel so good right now. Like a feather with legs. You can't stay here. Let's go. We shouldn't be here. Cops could come any minute. Dean, it's a party. This music is like... I can't even believe. I'm gonna go get a soda. Why are you leaving her by herself? Not a good idea, Jay. I, I keep forgetting your, your real name is not Dean. Gonna be in there with some dude, man. Copyright. If y'all see random jump cut, just know that's why. Oh. Vanessa? Oh. I'm sorry. This is, come on, this is like every teen movie, bro. She, he, she's gonna be in it with some dude, man. Huh? You're the last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Uh. Well, I'm full of surprises. Look, will you help me or not? What will he give me for it? I thought this dude was family. What's going on here, bro? Am I tripping? Oh, man. Oh, nah, bro. You doing that? Oh, man. <laughs> You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? I mean, we're going to pick boyfriend because, you know what I mean? Because we standing on that. So I feel like it's the move. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But if we do, if we do boyfriend, like, are we not going to get the help we need? Like, decisions, bro. Decisions, man. 
Oh my goodness. We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. I wasn't trying to violate. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Oh, we fucked up. Oh, God. No! You take a D's, bitch, and... Oh. Be a good sport. You can't win them all. Sack them! Hey, look. I'm punching him in the mouth, bro. Hey, he, he, he throwing at me. We about to mess up the whole plan, bro. We got a punchable face. What the fuck are you talking about? Alright, QTE to a win, bro. Come on. You come to my party and start this shit here? You started this. Dean, please, let's just go. Let's go. Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. Keep talking. That's right. Walk away, fucking pussy. I just punched you in your mouth. I'm up. What's he said? What he said? I punched you in your mouth and I'm about to take your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about, bro? Hey, hey, look. Hey, hey, look. Ain't no, ain't no. Look. Pride comes before the fall, man. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to win at the end of the day? Dean. Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him? Yeah. I stood up for you. I didn't ask you to. You can't just go around punching everyone who pisses you off. <sighs> Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. Yeah, I wonder why I was picking some of the options I've been picking all series, bro. You know what I mean? I wonder why. Because the stuff y'all want me to pick is messy. We should go find somewhere to sleep before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done. Ow! 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 She ain't good for him anyway. I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait, we shouldn't go too far from the car. Can we smooth this over? Can we fix it? I know you're mad, but. Oh, man. Oh, man, let me let me make it right.
Did you really run away from home? Or was that all a lie? Yeah, it was. Time to be honest. You lied, I lied. Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I... I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home. We ran. Got holed up at this motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Please don't leave. Give me one reason not to. Back at the hotel, when you actually showed up, I couldn't believe it. But that's when I knew. Knew what? Yeah, we're trying to fix this. I'm gonna pick the most. Listen, we're gonna, we, I mean, we gonna go with the soft. We're gonna go with the soft and light. You know what I'm saying? Definitely not doing this. We're gonna pick this one right here. She might not buy this though. Let's hope. Let's hope. You really gonna make me say it? Well, I can't answer if I don't know what you're gonna say. <sighs> Fine. That's when I knew I was. You know. Vanessa. I'm in love with you. This has been the worst week of my life. But when we're together, somehow it's all okay. Look, I don't care what the police think you did or what your family did. I came to Salt Lake today because I like you. And I don't like a lot of people. And I meant what I said before. <sighs> when you said you were heading for Canada, I thought, why not? Maybe I should go, too. You did? I haven't had a life in Two Rock since the day my brother died. My dad's like this prison guard whose job is making sure I never make a friend, never take a risk. Every single week, I think I should just run the fuck away. Instead, I sit around in that stupid uniform helping Mima waiting for permission. Well, you know what? I don't need permission but violence i just can't so swear swear you'll never hurt someone like you hurt todd tonight hey, you, you got it you got it no problem hey, look this is our only ally in the world man you know what i mean i got it i he swear did. okay then i forgive you Face Jesus. Now, let's get some sleep. We've got a long day tomorrow. She's stupid, but yeah. So, Jay, huh? Yeah, like a blue jay. Nah, bro. It's nice. What's your last name? Holt. Holts have been in Two Rock over 150 years. Sounds like you're proud to be part of that. Been a part of that family all my life. Don't matter who my parents were. I'll always be one of them deep down. All units, be advised. The teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. End of chapter five. Take a look at this. Only 23% of the people can't see this.
Oh, wow. I guess people didn't make it into the Utah about a trucker. What did they do? Oh, they didn't tell the trucker the truth. I mean, I felt like the trucker already knew when the cop came in anyway. I don't know, whatever. That's cool though. Uh, 35% punch Todd. I guess most people didn't sock his ass out. When the fighter walked away, people, y'all was out here losing the fight. We disappointed Vanessa, but we asked her to stay. Only 36% asked her to stay. Half told her the truth. The quarter, damn, okay. All right, cool. I mean, damn, lots of these, I'm, I'm in the minority for everything basically here on out except for this. Cool, what about do we have, what do we have down here? Most people escape with Sharon. There's a way for him to not be. Damn, I wonder how many. I wonder how many outcomes there are on this game. All right, let's get it. Next chapter. I think chapter six is the last. Is it the last? How many chapters? Oh, I, I don't want this song playing. Beat my record. Yeah, two minutes. <clears throat> the beast. All right. I think this is the last chapter. 2012. Much later. Hey. Um. You forgot your goggles. <laughs> Thanks. It's Zoe, right? You work at the deli on campus? Sorry, that's not me. No, I recognize you. You make the best meatball subs. That other guy, he's so stingy with the marinara. I don't work there anymore. Oh, sorry. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about? Holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's the only place I get any peace. Oh, that's... I should be getting home. Look, I know we don't know each other, but I kind of have a sense for when people need help. My mom got sick a few years ago. I was spending every night in the hospital with her, worrying whether she'd make it. And all my friends wanted to talk about was homework and boys. There was nobody around me. Until I realized there was always someone ready to listen. Come on, man. Seriously? I don't have time for this. 
Hey, I, I was just trying to help. Well, I didn't ask you to. Let her know, You bro. swim your way, I'll swim mine. Ah. She don't know what I've been dealing with, man. Get out of here. Send me the Jesus pamphlet on the way out of the damn community pool or whatever that was. Here we go. 14 years prior to 2012. So I talked to Mima. What? When we were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any? No, no. I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Did you watch the OJ trial? The what? <laughs> OJ Simpson? All American football player accused of murdering his wife because she's screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, yeah. what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? We're capable of anything, if we're desperate. Even murder? Sure, if there's a reason. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Ugh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Halt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old yep. Vanessa Dorland. There it is. Who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. Oh. If you see either of these violent criminals, uh. please call 911 and make... No, don't turn it off now. Let it play. You're a criminal. Not... You're in the game now. See? Sir? See? Guess this means we're famous. Well, I don't want to be famous. I just thought, fuck, I don't know what I thought. Let's just get to Canada, okay? Yeah, okay. I mean, why do we take a car without a top? Drive around. Top down convertible. That ain't even a convertible. That's just a. That's, that just ain't no top on the car. And oh, shit. Checkpoint. Run. Shit. Did he? Oh. Okay. Don't stress. We'll figure this out. How the fuck we gonna figure this out? Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No. No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? No. Oh, shit. I don't know. Does it matter? Oh, Lord. We were in Arizona. <laughs> oh, yeah? Because you have Montana plates. 
You go to school down there or something? Place. We were visiting the Grand Canyon. You been? No, ma'am. Oh, you gotta go. We went all the way down to the river on the back of a mule. Mm -hmm. It's way nicer than the postcards. Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. We definitely didn't want to say Salt Lake City. Um, we're not going to go in the glove box and make a sudden move. They're still getting sent. I just went to the DMV. Didn't they give you provisionals? Oh, it's the DMV. What don't they screw up? <laughs> hey, my mom works at the DMV. <laughs> and you are so- Yes! Oh my God, a great choice. All right. <laughs> I could just run the plates. <sighs> Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me? Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit, he's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. Guys. And there's not there's not a whole lot of games where I just completely did not know what to pick and it's a complete toss up. This is really tough. The cop just mentioned something about maybe the computers are down. They're having problems running a plate. So if that's any indicator that we might be able to get out of this because the the they're having problems running plates and I'm, I don't want to pay a lot. If I pay a lot, he's going to chase. Let's, I, guys, I know this is really risky. I'm going to do wait for cop and we're just going to look. I'm going to pray for the best. Hopefully what he said is a, a hint. I could be wrong. I don't know. Never play this is blind. Look, I can explain. <sighs> Listen, listen, yo, this game, this game is stressing me out, bro. This game is, see, see, but we listen, you know what I mean? And, and we did the right thing. Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right, I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. We actually made it out of there. That was one of the hardest decisions of the entire series so far, and there's been many, but that was tough. Come on, man. St. Louis. Hey, honey, how are you? You sound in a good mood. Craig and I finally decided to tie the knot. We're getting engaged. Oh. I know you're not his number one fan, but we're good for each other. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, honey. We're having a little engagement party this weekend. I hope you can make it. On one condition. I reserve the right to split if you two start salsa dancing. So how's things at the deli? Bet you've made an impression on the boss. You could say that. Why? <sighs> Everything's okay there, right? Uh, to be honest, Mom, things weren't working out for me with the job. So what are you saying? Y you quit? More like, got let go. Zoe, what will you do without a job? Mom, it's fine. I've got a few things lined up. Don't worry. I'm your mother. It's my job to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
Zoe? Sorry, Mom. I gotta go. Stop looking at me. All I heard was you smoking my weed too? Oh! PTSD. Oh. Jesus. Eh. Hmm? Tell me I'm awake this time. Come on. Think. Where did you put them? and mace what you got stay inside open up that door hello, hello? hey grandpa I know it's late, but I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. <sighs> it's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Hey there, Zeusy, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh, uh maybe I, I, I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. Hmm. I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, 
He broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I, I took a walk and, uh, and I, I saw someone, and, uh, I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh God or... damn it! I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still, somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Huh? He pays for it. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. She sounds just like your mother with that nonsense. Don't tell Shelby. But I know I didn't break my dorm because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you just got back from a war. How you been sleeping? I sleep fine if I take my meds. Uh, that was the ones Dr. Chowdhury prescribed. About the only thing she was good for. You were doing better a few months ago. Did something set you back? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So, what else? You still enjoying work? I got fired. Missed too many shifts. I told Mom. You can imagine how that went down. Ooh, like the Titanic, I expect. Well, maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You always talked about being an investigative journalist. Why did you go get a degree? I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. <sighs> Hang on. Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. Okay. All right, this is. All right, broken door. Let's start here. Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I thought you said you were taking a walk. Oh, uh, I was, <laughs> or I was going to anyway. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Oh. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. All books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? 
Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. <laughs> Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you, too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? to think about the past some things are a blessing you must think I made this whole damn mess up actually someone's been following me too I think what earlier at the pool and then tonight at my apartment I, I thought I saw someone but I don't know if it's even real I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, losing your dad like that. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles or... Or what? No. It's impossible. <laughs> Yo, man, who is that? Who is that him? Who is that? It's him, man. Hey, I see you. She didn't had enough. She running out there now. Stop! You run around here look like Bruce Willis off of Unbreakable and shit with that jacket. Why are you following me? What do you want? It's definitely him. I want to catch him. Get out the way. It's 40 yard time. It's crazy. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh, shit. Stop. Stop, I said. Get the fuck off me. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought you were... Why was she running? Yeah. I'm losing my shit. Oh, sweetheart. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me. Trying to remember you, trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs>
look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. Okay, get a letter from Jay. A year though. Canadian border is seven miles. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the Two Rocks of Two Rock once. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Seven miles on foot. It's not that. Tell you a secret? <sighs> I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. Are we just not going to find out what happens to his mom and stuff? Faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. <sighs> I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? I don't think about it. Besides, it's not like I got a home to go back to. You know what? I'm getting a second wind. <sighs> My God. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert and on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. There. That's better. Glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. <laughs> ah. <gasps> get down! Who's that? Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Oh, shit. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? If you know who he is... Then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. You have no idea what you're talking about. You don't know him like I do. He didn't do it. How about you let a jury decide and come on home? It's never happening, Dad. That part of my life is over. She's not gonna turn on him. 
We stick with plan A. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. That ranger at the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Have a clear shot. <laughs> oh, man. Oh my god, they shooting the kill? Jay Hope! Step out! Hands in the kill! You just shot. You want me to step out if you just shot? They got shoppers. Come on! It's a wrap. Where were we? I had to run downstairs. Sorry, guys. How far back is it going to take? All right, we're good. Let's go, let's go! Aye, aye. We good? Come on! Go, go! Boy, I didn't miss any QTEs. I wonder what happens on this game if you miss Wait, some of these. In here. I don't even know. Oh, nah. Nah. What do we do now? Order's down there. Past the lake. We gotta jump. Off this? Vanessa, wait! Stay back, Dad. You jump, you die. You'll never make it. We might. You don't know. Vanessa. Whatever you think about me. You were my little girl once. Slept on my chest, walked on my feet. When is the last time you said you loved me? I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster, but I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. No! Nice. Nice. They've been throwing out little subtle hints before I made my decisions that help impact my choice. He said if she jumps, she'll die straight up. Y'all believe it? I might believe that shit. <laughs> oh my God. <gasps> like, oh my God. Which one? <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. All right, then. On three. One, two. Wait. Dad? Yeah, honey? Tell Mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink. Why are you trolling? Why are you trolling? No. Vanessa, don't! No! Ah! You ever see the future, then? I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. That's what the hell we just did. I, she did. She died. I know. I feel it in my balls. Oh, come on.
You sure this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. Same exact spot. 14 years later. Jay made it. Don't speak. speak. Don't make a sound. I can't say I'm surprised because he wrote her a letter. My God. Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How'd you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah. Oh. They are. Make sure they die, brother. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I said to pick the bottom one. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio. And I promise, you won't need that pepper spray. What happened with his mom and his brother and... and Everybody, man, tell me something. This can't be the end. <sighs> nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. But I never had much luck at that. <sighs> oh. Is that girl still here? The one you ran away with? No. No, she's gone. I have a lot of questions about your life and... Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Her name was Vanessa, right? Can I ask what happened? We spent six years together. Me and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire, <laughs> but in the end, uh, I guess she missed normal life. I think she's in California now. I'm just grateful for the time we had. See, this is called exposition through dialogue. The game did a good job of not doing too much of that. I'm kind of a little bummed that they're doing it now. Um, he's just telling us how it ended. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler got away too. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too. And that's it. It's just me now. You know, the world thought you were dead. After you jumped off that cliff. We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. I had some lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. It's a good thing I, I jumped with her. In all these years, you've never been recognized? 
I had some close calls in town, but you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she'd just had cubs. Lesson learned. So, why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came. In person. Why? I keep seeing your face. And my dreams. Out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye... That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out, do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. Jay, why, why'd you start writing me? I told you, there's a lot I never got to talk about. I know, but why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me after everything my family did to you. My dad was killed. How many others died too? I was so fucked up that I didn't even graduate. I got expelled from two different high schools for being so distracted. And then your letters started coming. And... Zoe, nothing I say will change what happened. If I tell you I was young, I was stupid. I didn't realize how sick my family was. Doesn't matter. Fact is, I was 18. I should have known better. But I didn't. And I'm sorry. You can't just... It isn't that easy. I know. But you know what? I've had 14 years. If what you need is to see me locked up, there's a signal booster on the roof. Call the cops. I won't run. I might even be grateful. Come on, Roosevelt. Let's take a walk. All right, come on. We're not, come on. We're not going to call the cops. Wait. Ugh. My dad was a good man. He didn't deserve what happened. But I know it wasn't your fault. Not really. You're not that teenage kid. And I am not that little girl. Whoever it is she used to hate, it's not you. <sighs> 
This is not how I thought this would go. What did you imagine? That I'd be... I don't know. Slaying a demon? I should get going before the next bus comes. No more letters, okay? I need to be done with this. I understand. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Man, I would have loved to see the other characters' uh, story arcs wrap up, man. You can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Others have their time on Earth cut short. Why do some of us find ways to endure? All right, what are showing us here? These two. While others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers. But I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Zoe, uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day, about facing up to things, and uh, there's something I've never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, does dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Please, you don't have to do this. Just calm down and make this easier on yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two up. Oh. Is that the cop? That must be that cop, bro. <gasps> Who the fuck was it? That it, no, guys, y'all cannot do that. Book two. There's other books. Right, maybe we'll get a sequel. That's crazy. Wow, what an ending! Thank you all for coming out, being patient, sticking with me through the series. Um. We'll look for some more narrative based stuff to play otherwise we do have a couple wonderful new series we're going to start i'm sure y'all going to thoroughly enjoy them even though i'll probably be on her losing my shit um until next time see y'all later we didn't even get a post cutscene. i thought we would peace